let me explain the screwed experiment. I have uh, the Basher STA. I wrapped a very crude uh, secondary around the center point here, thinking this would be an interesting place to try to observe magnetic fields. Uh, the scope is hooked up to the secondary, um, and we're just watching the uh, ambient uh, energy that's coming to that secondary. Um, the coil is uh, grounded, and then the uh, the other end um, I'm connecting to an auto ignition coil, and I'm driving that auto ignition coil with my Jewel Thief circuit, which is uh, a very low power circuit using a D cell battery. Um, this circuit uh, has a current draw of anywhere from 40 mil milliamps to uh, maybe 150. Uh, so this is no more than a quarter watt in terms of power when this is on. Um, now when I flip this on, um, the output of the coil is high voltage as shown by this um, neon. Um, although it's although it's high voltage, you can uh, you can touch it, and it's um, so low current that you really can't feel it unless it was like to slightly arc to your finger. Um, but since there's a path to ground here um, through this AC to DC converter, most of the power is going there, so it doesn't jump to my finger. If I was to unclip this and touch it, I would I would feel a slight shock, but it's nothing dangerous because uh, this is just a, a D cell battery powering it. Um, the load I have on here is 100K, and I'm seeing about 16.8 um, volts across the 100K. Um, so this is, you know, like a tenth of what's being put in from, from this. Um, but most of the energy is expended on, like, creating these magnetic fields in this coil and creating great big magnetic field in this coil. Um, well, what I wanted to show you is while, uh, and I have to kind of put this in night vision mode, while I'm pulsing the coil uh, with the Jewel Thief, which is creating sort of a, a, a potential that's at this level, uh, the reception of random events increases. So these are... Um, events coming into the coil uh, from the outside. I, oh, I've set the trigger to line triggering so that, um, so that, we, could, so that we don't uh, attempt to trigger on any of these. We're, we're sort of more at the 60 hertz uh, line rate. Um, so the, the events look all kind of random as they, as they come. Um, now, when I turn off the Jewel Thief, um, there, there's, the coil has quite a bit of, the Bashar STA has quite a bit of energy in it still, and it's, spin, it's spinning down. So even if I kind of short out this load, here's the load shorted out, goes to zero, unshorted out, the voltage goes up again, because the coil still had, had power in it. And now it's uh, spinning down. The Jewel Thief is no longer running, and we are no longer receiving as well into the coil, these random events. Oh, by the way, this, this potential here is coming from the, from the lights. So if your laboratory has like fluorescent lights, these great big coils will pick up energy from that. So I have to kill the lights.